upgrading Jenkins Java version from 8 to 11. For quite a while now, Jenkins has been recommending that the controller and the agents run Java 11. And in fact, at this point, I have a Jenkins controller running Java 8. Let's verify that. We'll click into Manage Jenkins. You'll also notice the banner here, Java 11 is the recommended version to run Jenkins on. Please consider upgrading. That's what we're here to do. Let's click on System Information. And if we take a look down at Java runtime version, you can see the version currently is 180.322. Now, if we go over to our agent, we also have a system information here. And this one is also telling us that we're running 180.322. So we want to upgrade both our controller and our agent to Java 11. Let's take a look at the documentation provided over on the Jenkins.io site about upgrading from 8 to 11. First off, we always want to do a backup. Now, in my example today, I have a fresh controller, fresh agent, so I'm not concerned about my backups. But you, if you've had these running for any amount of time, you definitely want to back up your Jenkins home directory. And in fact, you're going to see that you're going to want to back it up a couple of times. So we would start out first with our backup of our Jenkins home directory. And then what we would do is we would upgrade Jenkins to the most recent version. Now, we're still on Java 8 at this point. So backup, upgrade Jenkins to the most recent version. We're going to validate the upgrade, and we're going to confirm that all the plugins and jobs are loaded. We're going to upgrade all of the required plugins. Again, normal process of upgrading plugins. Then we're going to make a second backup of our Jenkins home. So first backup of our Jenkins home, upgrade Jenkins, upgrade plugins, another backup, and now we're at the point to where we're ready to go ahead and upgrade to Java 11. So our next step is going to be stop the Jenkins service, and then we'll upgrade the JVM where our controller is running. Now in our case, I'm going to be using a package manager. I'm installed on CentOS, so I'll be using Yum. Whatever your distribution is, install it the way that's normal for your platform. Now before we do our upgrade, down in the description of this video is a link to a gist that has the links off to this documentation and to this script. And what this script does is we can take it and run it inside of our controller, look at what the version of Java is that's on the controller and the version of a remoting that's on the controller and compare that to all of the connected agents. So I'm going to copy this and let's go back over to our controller, click on Manage Jenkins. We'll go down to Script Console, paste it in, and let's take a look at the output. What we see here is the expected agent version is 4.11.2 and the expected Java version is 1.80.3.22. We've seen that 1.8.3.22 in both the controller and on the agent. So what this is telling us is that the node agent one is showing okay. So what the okay means is that the agent is also running agent version 4.11.2 and it's also running the exact same Java version, 1.8.3.22. So we ran this once just to show that at the beginning, our controller is at 8.3.22 and our agent is at 8.3.22 and the agent versions are the same. So let's go ahead and go over to our controller. Let's stop Jenkins. And then I'm going to upgrade to the version of Java 11 that I'm running, which is Timurin 11 JDK. And now that the installation is completed from the console, let's just go ahead and do Java dash version here. We can see that 11.0.14.1 is currently on path. Let's go ahead and start our Jenkins process. And then let's go back over to our controller, which is probably still starting up. And let's go back over to script console and let's run that script one more time. Script console, let's copy this, paste it in. And what we can see here is that the expected agent version is 4.11.2 and the expected Java version is 11.0.14.1. But now notice instead of agent one saying okay, it's now saying expected 11.0.14.1, but got 1.8.0.3.22. Now, since the 4.11.2 is not called out here, then that means that 
I know that both my agent and my controller are both running 4.11.2. So I'm not concerned about my agent version, but I can see that now my Java versions are different. So now we need to go ahead and upgrade the Java version on our agent. Now, having this script available to us is great, but there's also a plugin that makes this simple and we can just look at it within our controller. And the plugin is called Versions Node Monitor. So let's go back into our controller and let's go ahead and install this plugin. So we'll select that, download now and install after restart. And now that we're logged back in, let's go ahead and click on Build Executor Status, which will take us to the list of all of our nodes, which includes the controller. So we can see that we have our built-in node, which is our controller. We have our Agent 1, but if we go ahead and scroll over to the right, in fact, I'm going to zoom back out just a little bit. If you scroll all the way over, what you're going to see is that the JVM version is shown at 180.322 for Agent 1 and 11.0.14.1 for our controller. Very last column, we can see that the remoting version or the agent version is 4.11.2 for both our controller and for our agent. So now we could still run the script if we wanted to, and that's fine. But in this case, we're going to look at it within our console without having to go and run a script. Now within this plugin, there is actually one setting that we can change. And it gives us three levels of monitoring. So at this point, we can see that our agent is online and ready to accept work. But what if we didn't want that? What if we wanted to make sure that any Java versions on agents that were not matching controller, those agents would be kicked out effectively from the controller? We can do that with this plugin. By default, it's going to be very forgiving. What's going to happen, though, is if you have a Java 7 agent from a Java 8 controller, it's going to be disconnected just because. A Java 8 U222 will be disconnected from a Java 1103 or later. But since we're running an 8 U322, we're actually OK, and that's the reason why we're still online. But let's say not only do I want to be paranoid, but I want to be paranoid plus plus. So basically, we're going to have everything's going to be disconnected, unless it's a match. So in this case, not all the way out, but at least from an 1104 perspective. Now, we know that since we're running both our agent on CentOS 7.9 and our controller on CentOS 7.9, that the same version of Timurin 11 is going to be available to both. So I should have an exact match. So how do I set this up? Let's go into our controller. Let's click on node monitoring. And what we're going to see here is JVM version. And what I want to do is I'm going to select this to be Paranoid++, which is listed over here in the far right-hand side. And then also, I'm going to leave checked Disconnect Agent when incompatibility is found. So that's what I want to do. I'm going to leave that checked. And I'm going Paranoid++. Let's click on OK and see what happens here. If we give it just a moment, I'll refresh. We can now see that the agent is offline, which is what we would expect based on how we have that monitoring configured. So now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and log into my agent, and let's upgrade the version of Java there. And before we leave this, let's go ahead and just verify that it's what we expect it to be, and it is 11.0.14.1. Let's go back over to our controller. I'm going to click on nodes. And we can see that the agent is still showing offline. And in fact, if we take a look at it, it's still showing 8322. And that's because we have not actually, let's say, bumped our agent. So let's click on agent. We can see that it's offline because the JVM versions are mismatched. I want to do a disconnect. I'll say yes. And now what I want to do. So now we've disconnected off of that agent. So when we bring this node back online, it's going to reconnect to that agent. It's going to see the new version of Java available to it. And in theory, we should be good to go with that agent. So if we click into agent again, click on log, we can see that the authentication was successful. It's connecting up. 
and it's showing agents successfully connected and online. So if we click on nodes, we'll see that agent is still showing offline there for just a moment. Let's scroll over to the right. We can see that the JVM versions are the same. We can see the remoting version is the same. So let's figure out why that is not showing up. Maybe it's just a timing issue. Maybe I was just a little too quick. Dashboard, agent one. The node is offline because the JVM version of the agent is incompatible with the master one. Okay, so let's check this out. So we've brought it online. Let's go ahead and do this one more time. Let's disconnect. Click yes. So now it's been disconnected by the admin. So offline, disconnected, all of that's good. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and click on bring this node back online. And this time I am going to be a little more patient. We can see that it's connected and online here. Let's click on agent one here again. And now we can see that it's online. Okay, maybe I got a little too aggressive on the restart. But now we can see that we have both the JVM versions matching and the remoting versions matching. And at this point, we have finished upgrading Java 8 on both our controller and our agent to Java 11. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button and ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.